How you doing everybody? My name's Kevin and I live in this van with my two dogs Barrett and Bella and we travel this entire country bringing you footage along the way of the places we see here in the United States and today we are in Collinsville Missouri at the world's largest bottle of ketchup. What the heck? What the heck is this? Let's take a look. So this is the world's largest bottle of ketchup. I can't believe that there's ketchup inside that bottle. There's really not ketchup inside that bottle, or maybe there is. I don't have any idea because I'm a huge dork and we're still supporting Breast Cancer Awareness Month with the pink stripe on my head. And it's looking pretty ridiculous, but we're doing it for a good cause. We got people driving by thinking that I'm a complete idiot and they're right, 100% right. But this is where we are in Collinsville, Missouri, just outside of St. Louis. We're gonna see a friend of mine while we're here and we're also gonna see a subscriber if I can get a hold of her. But as of right now, we're checking out an extremely large bottle of ketchup. But here's the sign, take a look. World's largest catsup bottle. They spelled ketchup wrong, but that's okay. Collinsville, Illinois. So the grand scale of it, this is how big it is. I'm six foot tall and it's way up there. So that's the world's largest bottle of ketchup. I'm gonna try to walk away from it to get a better view on camera for you guys to see this extremely large bottle of ketchup. I'm actually standing right underneath this extremely large bottle of ketchup. But let's walk away from it after I jump down, bam, and turn around to show you guys this extremely large condiment bottle. So there it is, the world's largest bottle of ketchup sitting way up there in the sky. Okay, so I'm in the surrounding area here in Illinois and Missouri. It took me about an hour and a half to get here because I've got some time. We were waiting for the storage facility for my van to show up and hopefully they can get in and do my brakes and uh, get my other lift or get my lift kit in so I can get this van lifted. So I don't have to come back here to have this van lifted three inches in the front and one and a half inches in the back. So I'm going to find out what else is around this town to see what we can bring you guys footage wise. So let's go. All right, guys, I'm at my next location and probably final location for this video. And where am I at? I'm at the McPike house here in Alton, Illinois. I believe I'm in Illinois. Yes, I am in Illinois. Um, so this is at 2018 Albee Street in Alton, Illinois. And this house is haunted. Let me give you some history about this house first. It was construction in 1869 by Lucas, I can't pronounce your last name in Burger. In, in that year, McPike's was considered one of the finest quality of exhibition in the Mississippi, Mississippi Valley Grape Growers Association. Now more into the history on this is that uh, this, this house was bought, I believe in 1994. I just talked to the owners of this house and unfortunately, um, and they give tours of this house and they do things like that, but unfortunately her husband is ill and she's not able to come down here right now. Um, but let me, let me give you the history on them. Is it, the structure was listed at the National Register of Historic Places on uh, June 17th in 1980, but was left derelict for many, many years before being purchased by uh, Sharon and George Ludke in an auction in 1994. And that's who I believe I talked to. I didn't, I didn't get her name. They had intended to convert this into a hotel. They were unable to secure restoration grant money for from any federal, state, or local agencies, despite the Ludkeys have overseen a restoration process funded through donations and tours. So there is tours that go on here. There's something going on behind me. I don't know what it is. Uh, in 2017, the Alton Historic Commission presented them with an award in preservation for work done on the front porch and the conservatory. So this place is haunted, like I said. Here's a short paragraph on what that says. According to the owner, the mansion is allegedly haunted by a ghost of a former owner and a former domestic servant. Ah, I wish I could go in there and film that. It frequently is a part of the areas of the area's many 
haunted tours here in Alton, Illinois. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and they've got it set up very beautiful here for Halloween. But like I said, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you guys this house. It's very spooky looking from the outside. Take a look. As you can see, they've got jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins, but the closer we get to the house, the, the eerier it looks. Now, one thing I love to do on my videos is zoom in on windows and see if we could see any ghosts standing inside. So let's do that now. I know seeing it on camera with windows doesn't do it any justice because there's always a lot of glare. But like the like I said, the owner, I talked to her on the phone and she gave me permission to walk the property, take pictures and do filming. So if she is watching this video for somehow reason, if she found it, thank you very much for the hospitality you gave me to be able to come onto your property and take a look around. So this yard is huge. Take a look at this yard. It is absolutely huge. And this house just keeps going. Let's walk around and see if we can see anything spooky or eerie. Let's go. Here's, here's the side view of the house right here. Again, pay attention to the windows to see if there's any ghosts hiding inside. This house is absolutely huge. Oh my gosh, I wish I could go inside. Oh man, I wish I could go inside and film inside and get some uh, electric or electronical voice phenomenon, EVPs with my voice recorder to go into this house and see if we could pick something up like on the video where I visited the West Virginia State Penitentiary and we picked up some ghosts there. How fun was that video? It was a lot, a lot more fun just to edit it and to hear that for myself. But uh, there's a light on in the forest. That's what I'm looking at. But man, this thing is absolutely huge. Take a look. I mean, that's got to be like four stories, but about five or six stories tall. You can imagine how high these ceilings are in this building. Jeez, OP. I mean, just look at the craftsmanship, the moldings, these Crown Victoria type moldings. They did a very good job restoring this place. Ooh, man, I wish I could go inside. I can almost just feel that it is haunted here. I mean, it's hard to describe. It's on the back of my shoulders. It almost feels like it's haunted here, but there's nothing I can do about it. I can't get inside to film this house. I wish I could. There are neighbors ne next door. Um, they're about 50 yards that way. I wonder if they have any experiences with hauntings going on here, but I'm not gonna knock on anybody's doors, especially on a Sunday, to bug people about uh, if they've had any ghost stories going on here. But I mean, I'm gonna flip the camera around again. Take a look. Very creepy. Moss growing on, on the concrete bricks. Like I said, they, they restored this porch and they're trying to get funding to restore more of the inside. But this is all original from, from what I was told, 1865 here, but I think this is restoration going up. All this has been restored, but Let's see if any ghosts answer the door. Any ghosts in here that want to come out and say hello? Boo! If somebody opens that door, I'm going to be freaked the heck out. Door opens and nobody's there. Maybe there's an aberration. I don't know. But man, what a cool place to be. I love seeing these. I heard something move in there. 
No joke, I'm not lying. I heard do 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 something moving there. I talked to her on the phone and she had said, I said, is anybody living in the house or is anybody in there? And she says, no, it's actually condemned. Um, it's on the condemned list that nobody can live here. So I said, nobody's there to let me in. And she's like, no, unfortunately, I, I've got a lot going on. I'm taking care of my husband. Hey, he's ill. So my prayers go out to the owner, uh, Mrs. Ludke, um, that your husband recovers very soon. I didn't ask what's going on with that. That's their privacy. Um, I don't want to be that guy to dig into somebody's personal business anyway. Gosh, I want in this house. I want in this house so badly and go up there to that attic in that window and see if I can hear anything going on. But more importantly, to see if I can catch anything on my handheld voice recorder and bump the audio up in editing to see if we picked up any ghosts. But as of right now, guys, I think that uh, this is where I'm gonna end today's video. But when I go to these meetups, I kind of get out of the video groove of recording, editing, and putting it out. And I don't have another meetup until January. So I'm back into the groove with this video here, editing it and getting it out to you guys. And we're gonna continuously see things every single day that I can while I'm in this area and in the future, no matter where I'm at. Places like this, places that just make me, oh, I just so feel, feel so lucky to be doing what I do for a living and bringing you guys videos of the places we see like this gigantic house right here throughout the United States. Uh, I'm gonna be here for a little while in the St. Louis, Illinois, Missouri area, at least for another week, I think, because I gotta get my van in to get it lifted. Hopefully those parts show up so I can do that. But also the storage facility that I ordered that'll be delivered between Wednesday and Friday of next week will be here so I can put it in the van to get more storage and then finalize my van build. But as of right now, guys, I just wanna say thank you for allowing me to do this, having this lifestyle to bring you guys videos like this. Thanks for coming along. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel because we're traveling this United States to bring you epic spots. So why don't you come with us and we'll see you on the next one.